Sarah from the upcoming. Such a pleasure to speak to you. So people are obviously very familiar with the Nan character, but what can they expect from this, from a full-length feature film? Um, mainly the backstory and, and how the Nan becomes the Nan and why the Nan is the way she is. And what can you tell us a bit about your character and how did you get into it? How did you prepare to play it? Um, I played Terry, who was the Nan's husband. Um, and they grow old together and um, I kind of based him on my own granddad so um, it was quite sweet for me I, I even managed to pick out a picture of my granddad from when he was sort of in his in his mid 40s and gave that to the costume department and they they kind of matched it up for me so there's a very like clear nod to my own granddad in it which you know was great for me and what is it about Catherine Tate that she's just such a brilliant comedian, she's invented so many different characters, and she's had such a longevity in her career. She's come back time and time again. What is it about her that makes her such a comedy? Um, wow. I mean, all those things. She's, she's a comedy genius. Um, I, I know it's, it's really nice as well, actually, because Catherine's from Holborn, and it turns out her grand... I think I'm right in saying this. Her granddad or was someone in her family dated someone in my family like back in the 40s so it was a really weird um like karma thing it was like it was cool and what about the making of the film it must have been such a laugh being on set what were some of the highlights and challenges um highlights was the first time i ever got to see dublin um because dublin doubled as london in the 40s um i made a really good friend in parker um and i got to watch Catherine tate be the nan every day so what's not to like and it does feel like the boundaries of what's acceptable in comedy keep shifting and there's a lot of chat always, especially with sketch shows. You know, we go back in time and we judge them through a modern lens. Um, do you think that's a positive thing or do you think it's an inevitable thing? And what do you think about that? I think you have to be mindful of the way the world changes, but at the same time, I think there is very much a place for it. If comedy is done intelligently, then it should push boundaries and it should... Ricky Gervais always um, says you have the right to be offended, I have the right to offend you. And so I don't, I don't know, it's complicated. And you know, it is a tense moment in terms of what's going on in politics at the moment, but also feels like a great time for people to have a bit of comic relief, have a bit of escapism. They need a film like this right now. We've all been trapped in our houses for two years and we're all just emerging and there's obviously loads of other horrible stuff going on at the moment. I think it is time for some People need a bit of escapism and some just some out and out joy. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for sharing that with us. Enjoy the evening. Thank you.